The sun's quickly going down here in Copenhagen. I stayed home from work today. I did a little work from home. Um, I'm feeling pretty sick. Um, I stayed home half the day yesterday. I went home early. And just having work on my mind has made me realize I haven't talked about transitioning at work yet. I did transition on the job. And uh, I think that it's you know worth sharing that story. But before I get to that, I wanted to answer a question that someone wrote to me. Um, they ask, and I quote, As you are so naturally passable, why out yourself? Why not just morph into, into society to really enjoy being regarded and treated as female in all its ways? So my answer to that question is pretty much the same reason I joined YouTube in the first place. That is, I don't think, well, I don't want to be invisible as a trans person. I think that cisgendered people and people that don't know trans people and people that are afraid of trans people or think that we're weird or think that we're the other um, feel that way because they don't really know any of us and they don't understand who we are, what we go through, and that we are just people. And if I were to kind of go stealth, which I think I could do pretty easily, then I wouldn't be doing any of the trans any of the other trans people in the world any good. And ultimately I wouldn't be doing myself any good either. Because I'm not a biological female. I am a transgendered woman. And I always will be, no matter what. No matter what kind of surgeries I have, or what kind of, you know, official documents I change, like my birth certificate, I'll still have the same childhood that I had. And there will still be people that knew me as Samuel. So I, I just feel like there should be more trans advocates. And I want to be one of them. And I want to be there to support other people at different stages of, the, of, their, of their transition and help build community. So that's the long-winded answer to, to that question. Now on to work. How much time do I have? Um, I have worked at my current job. I've had my current job since... May of 2007, so it's been almost two and a half years, and I've been living full-time uh, for six months. I moved to Denmark one and a half years ago, so I worked at this job a year before I transitioned, um, and I moved here to transition in many ways. I moved here because I thought it would be easier, because, you know, Christine Jorgensen, I've talked about that already, talking about work. When I first came out to everyone, it was right before I moved here, and I was um, at, a, at a conference with the company CEO and another of the owners and another one of the senior members, and I said, hey guys, i got to tell you something, you know, you know I split up with my ex, and about that, I'm transgendered, I'm going to become a woman, and... They were all very shocked, and they were kind of like, okay, you know, what can we do? And they've been really supportive from the get-go. I think that it's kind of been unusual how supportive they've been, because, well, because this is a job based in Europe, and I think that people have a different kind of mentality about, about work ethics, so they, they weren't concerned and they never suggested that it would be a problem. Um, and it, it really hasn't been. Um, in fact, one year ago, I mentioned in my last video that I was in a catwalk. There's this thing called Culture Night here in Denmark and I participated in the transvestite catwalk. So I was, I don't consider myself transvestite anymore, but I was for a while. And last year, in 2008 for the culture night, a couple of my co-workers did come and one of my bosses came. And it was so funny because after the show was over I walked out and he was there and he said, Sam, you did so good, man! And I just started laughing and I said, um, 
You know, it's just a matter of figuring out when I want to start coming to work this way. And he's, and his only reply was, whatever. Like, he didn't care at all. And that just blew me away. I couldn't believe that, you know, th these, these people that I work with and work for are so, just so open-minded and supportive. So I felt really blessed at that time. Fast forward to about six months later, six months ago, um, April of 2009, I, I had not started hormones yet, but I was just on the very edge of starting, of starting them. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't really wait any longer. I, I felt like I was not moving forward. I felt like things weren't going quickly enough and that I needed to I needed to push a little bit. So even though I wasn't on hormones at all, I I went to the to the HR department and said, I'm, "I'm I know that you know that I'm transitioning and I know you've been waiting for me to go full time and I'm going full time today." And I'm going to go send an email to everyone in the company just explaining what's going on for those that don't know, but most of them already did. And I'm going to start coming to work as Samantha. I mean, I was dressed, I was presenting female that day as well. And they said, okay, you know, do your thing. And so I sent out this email and explained, hey, you know, everyone, I, I really like working with everybody here, and I've become really close to everyone, and I feel like everybody should know that I'm actually transgendered, and for a long time I've been going through this gender transition, but it's been kind of private, and I've kept it away from work. Well, it's time, the time has come for me to bring it to work, and I'm going to start coming to work as Samantha. So, what does this really mean? I'm the same person that I was yesterday, and I'm going to do the same job that I did yesterday, and... You can all relate to me the same way you did yesterday. I'm just going to wear different clothes, and I'm going to ask you to use female pronouns when referring to me instead of male pronouns. So please say, please say she instead of he, and please say her instead of him, or hers instead of his. And it was a really um, a monumental feeling for me just just to click that send button and go okay uh, you know everybody knows now like okay and you know everybody kind of came came back with replies of support saying i had no idea but you do what you have to do and that's great um and i felt really good now because i wasn't on hormones i was having a lot of trouble kind of you know making myself feel comfortable presenting as female I had a lot of trouble with facial hair. I had to shave every morning, and I had to shave close and hard, and it hurt. And I wasn't used to wearing makeup every day. I wasn't used to using my voice every day. So I would say for about the first month, no one really got it. I, I think that I was just kind of looking weird. I was looking like a transvestite or a cross-dresser. And so after a month... I, people were still using male pronouns for me, and I had to send another email saying, Hey, thanks for everyone's support so far, and you're all really great, but can you please try harder about this one thing, this the, the pronouns? Because every time I hear a male pronoun being used for me, it kind of gets me down. It makes me feel not, not very good about what I'm doing. And this really means a lot to me, and I don't feel like I'm asking that much. And I know it's hard, and I don't expect everyone's going to get it perfect, but please try. Just try. And since then, it's been really a lot better. So after, be, about after that one month, I started hormones, and I kind of became more comfortable with presenting a female at work, and my coworkers got more used to calling me, you know, Samantha, and I changed my email signature, and all, all sorts of people in the community started to find out um, with our test group, and really no one has, no one has given me any problems. Um, some people are curious, and some people thought that I was joking at first, um, but everyone's been really sincere. So... I guess what really helped me feel the most comfortable at work was, was starting hormones and just letting my body change over time and seeing that stuff. But, you know, I've done the same job and I do the same work and I'm the same person and I'm really happy to be doing that. So that's all I have to say for now.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, okay?